days in jail for driving under the influence in a triple fatal car crash. We told you about the sentencing yesterday, and today we're sharing reaction to it. Our Simone Davis spoke to family members of the victims and tells us how they plan to move forward. Our beautiful daughter had such a wonderful life ahead of her, but because of this senseless tragedy, Morgan will never be able to live her life. It's been nine months since Lisa and Ken Carr lost their daughter Morgan Carr in a fatal car crash. We don't want any other family to go through what we've gone through. It's a devastating experience. Monday, the Carrs attended a plea hearing for Nicholas Bonilla. Bonilla admits he was driving drunk the night his car was hit by another accused drunk driver at the corner of White Drive and Pensacola Street. His three passengers were all killed. 22-year-old Vincenzo Livio, 21-year-old Morgan Carr, and 21-year-old Kevin Booz. Bonilla pled guilty and expressed his condolences in a letter to the victim's families. There's not a day that goes by where I don't see their face. I want nothing more than to give them a hug. This incident's a lesson I'll never forget. I take full responsibility for drinking and driving. Bonilla was sentenced to 10 days in Leon County Jail and 12 months probation. However, the cars say Bonilla should face a harsher punishment. If you're drinking and driving and passengers are in your car and they die, the person drinking and driving should be held accountable. That's not the law today, but it should be the law, and we're going to push for that. In Tallahassee, Simone Davis, WCTV Eyewitness News. Now, the other driver in this crash, Stanley Jabowin, is charged with DUI and vehicular homicide. He is scheduled to go to trial next month. Moody 